Good evening, everybody. There we go. It's a bit better light. So, <clears throat> Thursday. So, uh, another mindset explosion with the tagline. I'm such a loser and I love it. I'm going to invite some people very fast. I can get back to uh, pulling some more stuff down, whatever. So, I hope everyone's had a good day. I uh, hope you've been enjoying my mindset explosions this week. The Monday mindset is still going to run regular time, but you just got to stay tuned for my uh, mindset explosions in between. Uh, don't forget if you can share episode eight for me from last Monday and you will be put in to um, win the, uh, oh my gosh, Tony Robbins, Giant Steps. It's a small, tiny book. You do like, it's like a page a day. So there's hardly anything to read on there. You just read one page a day. It's a really good book. Helps set you up a little bit. Get that uh, your own Monday uh, mindset or your mindset explosion throughout the week. Uh, I'll start off in just a sec. I'm just going to invite a few more people. Uh, thank you so much for everyone that's been messaging. Uh, I'm so pleased that people are getting stuff from this. So that's the whole point, right? So uh, do some more smashing up today and... Slowly, slowly getting there. I need to skip now to get rid of all this junk. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to finish up real fast. Okay, let me just leave it there. So, look, uh, please share. Uh, if you're watching now, please invite some friends along. Uh, that'll help me out. So, look, I I'm such a loser. Um, I was thinking about this the other day. I, I, when I was um, on holiday last week, I, I, I should have done an interview with my dad. So, like, when I was younger, if we played, if I played any game with my dad... Uh, he seemed to love Monopoly. Uh, he didn't care how old I was. He was just going to win. <laughs> and you land on that hotel, that house, or, you know, for somehow, he must have cheated maybe. I don't know. And, you know, I just get a little bit downhearted. As I grew up, we would go out, um, you know, we, we used to play snooker. I never, ever, <laughs> I'm going to have to play him again now that I'm an adult. Because <laughs> I think, I think I just took it wrong. I just took it, oh, I just can't, I'm no good at stuff. I'm no good. And, I used to think he was a bit mean, <laughs> even when I become a parent. I thought, oh, how how could he do that? Oh, I get, why can't you just let me win once at snooker or whatever? Anything we played, he just it was like he got real competitive and just wanted to win. And I I must admit, some of that carried over with me. And I realised, you know what? As an <laughs> I love Monopoly too, man. <laughs> I don't think my friends like playing that game with me in the wild, Ollie. Um, but I realized, you know what, it's little things like that. And even disappointments when I, you know, I didn't do great at school. So reports would come through. I would take words out of them that would disappoint me. And I realized that, you know, you could feel a bit like a loser, but losing is so good. Because what it does, it means that, you know, as I've been saying, I'm building up this new academy, you know, going in for a business when I bought the business, setting out. It gave me this, you know what, I got nothing to lose mindset. It's a little bit like the immigrant mindset. It's just, I've got nothing to lose. You know, it makes me, you know, now I'm hungry for stuff. And this, you know, I, I'm, I don't think I can make myself be disappointed, you know, because I don't like that feeling anyway. So it drives me away from that. Drives, drives me to, like, make sure it, you know, I'm going to go for it, work hard, get the, this to look the way I want it to look and bring in the people, everything else. But it's like, look, losing is good. And I think, you know, sometimes with children... You know, they, they need to learn to lose a little bit because, you know, if we let them win all the time, it's just going to get later on in life, they're going to be met with a loss of some kind and then just not going to know how to deal with it. And so I'm so grateful to my dad on that. You know, obviously, there's other life experiences, that, you know, for me in life. But can you imagine living your life, get into an adult, and then one day you lose at something? You know, how's that going to feel? It, it, like, I don't think anyone could cope with that. So losing is definitely good, and it, it teaches you to... You know, well, it teaches you to be better anyway. You know, anyone that's gone into a competition, you lost it, it made you want to be better. If someone was faster in the race, then, you know, it makes sense. You want to race against the fastest people. You can only get better. If I say with business, I want to compete, not compete. I, I, I strive to be better, you know, than, you know, I, I look at people that are doing so well and I think, oh, okay, they're, they're doing that and I'm going to see if, you know, I want to find out how they do that because I want to be as good as good as that if that makes sense i want to provide a great service i want to provide a great product i want to provide great facilities but not to have that ego of oh, i'm better than you it's just i hope then they do better and you know we're all pushing each other along and it's the same for anything so you know even when i was training um 
like Stephen Thompson or whoever I partnered up with, I want them to be better than me. And I encourage my students, like, listen, I want you all to be better than me. I want you to be better martial artists than me because it's going to push me to want to do better and then everyone, you know, we all achieve together. So look, losing is not so bad. It, yeah, maybe you have that disappointment, but, it, you know, I think it... It sets you up to, you know, be hungry to want to do more, achieve more. And same with children, you know, we need to, they need to understand what it feels like to lose, and of course win. But it, you know, I think that's an important factor. So losing is not such a bad thing. I think I have to challenge my dad to a game of snooker, though. Uh, we're just going to keep doing that until I do win, even though I hate snooker. But hey, that's a, that's another story. All right, guys. Uh, hope you got something from this. Uh, I do apologize. My tone is a bit different tonight. I'm very tired, um, and of course, I had a real good shave today. Uh, not uh, so. Enjoy your Thursday evening. I was going to do a throwback, um, but I'll do one maybe tomorrow for Friday or something like that. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. And please share this uh, mindset explosion. It's my new name, pal. See you later, guys.